Hey, what's up guys? Today we are reviewing a 2021 Honda Civic Type R. And from now on in these reviews, uh, every time we're gonna be using Draggy GPS 0 to 60 reader, uh, you can just send me a message to apply by the way. So everyone will get a chance to do a zero to 100 launch and also a quarter mile if we have enough room. And oh yeah, I'll make a leaderboard of all the cars that come on the channel. So let's see how fast this 2021 Honda Civic Type R is, zero to 100. <laughs> that was a 7.82, try number one. Oh, that was a 7.3. That was much better. You want to try it one more time? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for we'll go for one more. That was better. Oh, 7,000 RPM. Woo! 7.1 that time. That was good. It does not feel like 7.1 though. Yeah. Damn. It's that first like 10 kilometers an hour that it struggles with. Mm. Like getting to like 10 and then once it's, once it's starting to go, it's sweet. <laughs> now that was a launch, holy. All right, so that was a 7.42. We're gonna try to do a bit better clutch in. Foot down. <laughs> Seven point three six that time. I think I have a bit of practice to <laughs> need to get a bit of practice. But man, that thing it doesn't feel like seven point three six, that's for sure. the first Honda I've ever driven really. Uh, I think I drove an Accord for a few days once, uh, rental, but yeah this is my first Honda experience. Um, we just went for a quick boost to get used to the car and I'm pretty impressed. So yeah we're gonna get into it and we're out in the country, gonna go for a cruise and see how this thing performs. So this car has 306 horsepower powered by the Honda 2 liter turbocharged four-cylinder and that's going all to the front wheels. The very first 2021 model year Type R in New Zealand. He only got it a month or two ago. And because they didn't sell the car in yellow like they do in the States, the owner has wrapped it in a really similar yellow than it comes from the factory on the uh, limited edition model. You know, you don't really see too many yellow cars, especially in New Zealand. I think I hardly see any of them around. But first impressions on this thing, handles amazing. I gotta get used to the, uh, automatic blips for the you know when you downshift it automatically rev matches for you a bit hard to get used to that but man this thing just goes and goes and goes Woo! revs out all the way to 7000 rpm but because of the turbo, you don't really feel the VTEC as much, but you sure do feel the boost. And this thing just grips around corners like nothing else. The steering, especially in R mode, is so direct and firm. It feels amazing. Earlier today, I was doing a bit of research on the Type R and I saw that car and driver rated this above a Subaru WRX but below a Volkswagen Golf GTI and especially after driving it you know when I first read that I thought that's a bit crazy you know obviously the GTI front wheel drive as well WRX bit of a different car all-wheel drive but I think this is especially after driving it I think this is a lot more fun at least than a GTI so the first Type R was the NSX Type R in 1992 and basically all it meant back then was it was a bit lighter 300 pounds lighter I think it had six more horsepower and obviously some cool red badges and maybe a few other aesthetic things 
to go along with it. And since then, Honda has really, you know, stuck with the Type R. It's like their pinnacle, you know, series for Civics, Integras, and it means a lot more than just a little more horsepower and a red badge these days compared to the base models. So with the Integra Type R, the uh, modifications got a bit more serious and a bit more sort of race track focused. So the chassis were stitch welded. They got LSD differentials. They got close ratio gearboxes, red interiors, and the Recaro seats. And then the first Type R Civic was the EK9, which came out in 97. And that had the uh, B16B engine, which at the time was one of the most powerful engines per liter naturally aspirated. So even though it only pushed 182 horsepower, it was per liter one of the pow most powerful engines uh, in any car on the road. Largely due, I think, to the Fast and Furious movies, um, these Type R's, which were actually never sold in America, they've gained a huge cult following. You know, you've seen those videos online of the, the old EK9s and Integras and they're just crazy torque steering all over the place and pushing massive power. They've been a huge part of the tuna community. And there are so many here in New Zealand. So unlike the older EK9s and Civic Type R's that came before this one, you know, back then the torque steer, it kind of burdened the front wheel drive name a lot. And especially when you started pushing big power out of them, you know, people started tuning them. You know, we've all seen the videos of the Type R's just going all over the place and um, Honda claims to have almost completely eliminated that issue with this new model. So it has a very unique dual strut axis front suspension system which is basically just magic and um, almost completely eliminates the torque steering from this and honestly I didn't feel any at all until we got up to like 6500 rpm. It's just solid. You can feel a tiny bit of pull there. But this thing is just wild. It carries itself through the corner so precisely. It's got almost zero roll. The steering is so tight. It gives you so much confidence. The power band is actually really, really smooth despite being turbo. It breaks really well with these Brembo's. The auto blip when you're downshifting, it just makes it effortless to slam it into a corner, chuck on the brakes and downshift, and then you get out of it and you just start flying again. I absolutely love the interior. We've got the red sports seats. We've got the Alcantara steering wheel. So this car actually holds a world record at Suzuka Circuit in Japan. World record for a front wheel drive car around that track. I believe it's only two minutes and 23 seconds, which is really impressive. One for a car that only has 300 horsepower and also front wheel drive. So we're getting into a bit more of a open roads now. We're in fifth gear and we're just flying around these corners like it's nothing. Woo! Chassis is nice and stiff. As soon as the car gets into a bit of bounce, it just kind of holds you there and it's a bit uncomfortable, but it just, it stays planted so well. The traction really feels like it's an all-wheel drive car. Really, really like how, you know, it can be an absolute monster in the corners. It looks fantastic. We haven't even talked about the looks yet. And, you know, meanwhile, you can chuck it back into comfort mode and it's just a chill, nice, you know, daily car. You know, you could easily commute this to work. It's actually not too loud at all from the factory. You know, they can still keep that heritage and tradition while giving you the more modern creature comforts. But then when you need to, you know, like I said, you just flip a switch and you're out in the back roads, absolutely thrashing some corners with what feels like infinite traction. And, you know, it does, it's not understeering, it's not oversteering, it's just working. Even the straight line acceleration is pretty impressive, you know, obviously this thing is a beast in the corners, it's what it was made for. This thing on a tight little technical course can probably outdrive most cars. 
and even in a straight line it absolutely goes so i guess we'll talk about uh how this car looks next i think it's sort of controversial um obviously it's a very very bold look especially probably even more in this yellow now but i personally love it i think honda did an amazing job some people say that you know it already looks modded but it shows you know what it's made for and it just looks really really good awesome well that was the review for the 2021 honda type r i hope you guys enjoyed i had a great time this car just handles crazy in the corners and yeah like i said it's just an awesome modern car that you can just go and smash on the weekends and still perfectly sweet you know driving to work and stuff during the week and yeah it goes hard for a front wheel drive 300 horsepower car i was very impressed so yeah that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment. What do you think about the 21 Type R? And we'll see you next time.